Okay, so this is the next day after my hard video that I made yesterday. Uh, I was able to write in my journal things that I did to help myself feel better. I wrote. I grounded myself in the grass. I took a bath. I will go to sleep is what I said, even though I had a really hard time going to sleep. Drink water. I had a major headache. I struggled to go to sleep, but I did go to sleep. I prayed. I ate a bonita cinnamon bar of some sort. I was rubbing my, or my short jeans on the side because I know if like you feel something, it kind of distracts your mind from thinking of things. thought about tomorrow and time had passed. I went to sleep, woke up, still had a headache. After I drank the water that I had in the morning, I threw that up. I had a lot, a lot of stress yesterday. A lot of emotions had come out last night and I felt my body lose control and literally race to get everything ready to go to my second home, the gym. <laughs> Called them, they were closed in like an hour, so I'm not going. Immediately felt a rush of familiarity of just not having my son with me. Like I those two times that I went to jail. When something happens like that, you only can do so much. I was handling it all on my own. I looked it up online and I think it was more like a PTSD thing, which I have to look more into, but uh, based off of the trauma that I had <sighs> twice last year had um, experienced of not being able to um, be with my son. There are things that you can do if you ever are sad or feeling like you need help. You just have to take lots of deep breaths and just know that life moves on and life goes on. And, you know, if going to sleep and waking up passes time by, that's okay too. It was very, very difficult because there was a lot of tears and just feelings and emotions that were spilled out that day. And I just was overwhelmed and I panicked and I broke down and I had the same feeling as I did in the car on the way from jail that first time I came to realize that I was not able to go see my son. <laughs> and that was like the worst feeling ever. But today is a brand new day. I'm starting off the day good. Writing helps. Kind of just thinking what you have helps rather than what you don't have. And I'm really just making this video so I can help people who ever are overwhelmed and have PTSD and just can't control themselves and it was it was so I've never had that feeling before it was very intense it, it happens you know especially if you've dealt with trauma in, in your past glad that I am okay and living and I'm blessed to be here in my body I'm very blessed I have the strength to handle this alone